What's up guys? Welcome to my new channel. My name is Paul and the name of the channel is Carful. Not careful, but Carful. I'm pretty stoked to be able to introduce you to my new channel that will handle mostly about cars. That is things like uh, dash cams, rebuilding interiors, restoring old timers like uh, Corvette C3 and all that good stuff. With that being said, we can start now with the first episode of my new channel. In this first episode I will show you a dual dash cam and how it works or fails to work. So, stay tuned. Here I am showing you how I packed the complete dual dash cam and everything that came with it back in the box. This is the reverse of the unpacking that I failed to film or photograph so I can't show you that it came unsealed. I packed it back in to send it back and the reason you will see further in this episode. As you can see it is the Black Sears CH200 system. I bought it nearly two years ago and it is only now I made this episode for the reason that hopefully will be obvious when you watch this to the end. As you can see here, I bought also the very good battery for this system, the Selling B. It's a good system, very reliable, and it will help you keep the battery of the car in good shape. And it also will help you to film when the car is parked for some time. There is a second reason that I bought this for, and I will tell you later on about that too. This failure means that the second camera, in this case the rear camera, won't start up or is defect. So the first rear camera that was sent to me didn't work at all. In this section you see that one cable is hanging unconnected on the camera. That was the first one that was in the package. And the new cable they sent to me was connected. But the camera that was laying in the passenger seat didn't work at all. Drive safely. Recording started. So the retailer that was responsible for the countries Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg sent me another rear camera. That by the way wasn't sealed either and didn't even have a lens cover on the lens. And he made me do some tests the rear camera outside the car while it was driving, changing the cables, formatting the memory card and so on. Nothing worked without distortion as you can see. This Blexis dual dash cam is placed in the Mercedes CLS shooting brake AMG Sportage package with the latest Mi Connect on board, with the GPS, Bluetooth and all that good stuff. Because it is dark here, you can only see a slight distortion. This is the rear camera that is held in my hand while driving. But in the other takes during the day you can see the blue stripes flapping over the screen. So we tried out all possibilities. A new cable to the rear camera, another rear camera, I don't know if it was a new one, but at least it was another one. And that's the only thing we didn't try out was another front camera. Drive safely. Recording started. 
So here are some more scenes, but then during the daytime, as you can see, uh, at this point some slight lines that appear on the screen every now and then. Take the camera a little higher. Now the blue lines and the purple lines appear and you see them better. And here it is uh, minor distortions, but sometimes they are so heavy that you can't read the license plates of the cars behind you. Like here it is coming more frequently, as you can see. And becomes really annoying. So what would be the reason we couldn't find anything? And uh, like here now, the blue lines are appearing more frequently. Okay, here, here they are again, yes, very frequent, and mostly it happened when the, when you don't ride very hard on the traffic lights and so on, when you have to read the license plates, and sometimes it isn't possible because of the strikes. So the second uh, rear camera is installed here and the blue lines are as intensive as before, perhaps even more. We think it's an in incompatibility between the Mi Connect from Mercedes um, and the cam system. I don't have another explanation since we uh, tried everything with uh, the new cable, the new camera. There's only one thing that we have to try out and that's with the new front camera, but that, that is, this is going to come later. Um, we bought that uh, battery because uh, we would try to see if uh, this distortion also happened um, in park mode. And it does. You will see this in the coming uh, video here after this one. This is in park mode now and the selling B battery is providing the power. So no distortions from the running motor, no GPS and no Bluetooth from the Ami Connect system. So the distortions you can see here can only come from the camera itself, one would say. And then in a later video you will see that the front camera starts to give some minor distortions too. Very strange.
I went to visit a nephew of mine and uh, to my surprise and disappointment the following happened. The beautiful country roads were less enjoyable in this video than in the flesh. This is the front camera showing a lot of lines now too. This did it for me and now it was a time to try out another front camera and hopefully all my problems would have been solved. Even in parking mode, those distortions kept coming. It was clear to me, this camera had to go and had to change. So, I sent this one back and they sent me another one. The specs you will see here in the next uh, photos. Coming at this point, I wanted to show you how that second camera was sent to me. It was wrapped in plastic, again unsealed, with no lens cover on it, dirty and with obvious signs of use. So this definitely, definitely was not a new camera. So do I trust the provider here or not? I will let you be the judge of that. Did this camera deliver the solution? I'm afraid not. In the rear camera the problems are the same and in the front camera the, li the lines may be gone, but it does every now and then a spontaneous reset of two behind each other with no reasons at all. So my conclusion, I still believe in the merit of a dual dashcam system in a car and I certainly think it is needed. I keep using it all the time, but I'd rather like it to work like it should. So guys, uh, with that being said, I would like to warn everyone to look out very carefully what kind of system you are going to buy if you have a Mercedes with a Mi Connect on board. And for the retailers and manufacturers, if you are interested, you can always send me some dash cams. And I promise I will test them out thoroughly together with the software and then I will do a complete review on that system for you. So guys, I have to tell you it was a pleasure to do this first video for you. And uh, I would like to uh, tell you that there is a lot of content, new content coming your way. So. Turn on your post notifications and uh, like and subscribe if you, uh, if you like uh, to do that below. And if you think you have a solution to this problem, you can let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you very soon.